Now, leaky reactors are even more alarming when you combine them with the vulnerability of the spy grid. Now, the Stuxnet virus that was most likely created by the U.S. and Israel as a means to take out Iran's nuclear reactors, it has spread to other countries. One of the world's top computer security experts, Eugene Kaspersky, said this week that the virus has attacked a Russian nuclear reactor. The revelation came during a Q&A session in which he argued that those spooks responsible for offensive technologies don't realize the unintended consequences of releasing malware into the wild. Everything you do is a boomerang, he added. It will get back to you. He said that unfortunately, it's very possible that other nations which are not in a conflict will be victims of cyber attacks on critical infrastructure. He said it's cyberspace. There's no borders and they share the same systems. Now, the U.S. is particularly vulnerable to cyber attacks since our entire country is wired into the smart grid or as the former CIA director James Woolsey said, the really, really stupid grid. But perhaps they will address some of those vulnerabilities this week as they participate in the Grid X2 cyber war uh, drill. But perhaps not, because we did tell you in 2010 that Stuxnet was probably going to be the next false flag. Infowars speculated that Stuxnet was a false flag intended to both target Iran and provide a pretext for the implementation of draconian cybersecurity legislation. Despite the fact that Stuxnet was distributed through a physical USB device and not the public Internet, cybersecurity legislation was being heavily promoted as a vital tool to defend the nation's infrastructure against cyber terrorism. Senator Joe Lieberman and his pal, Senator Jay Rockefeller, wanted to give Obama the power to kill the Internet. You have an Internet bill. It's been called the Kill Switch uh, Bill that uh, would allow the president to seize control or shut down portions yeah. of the Internet. Cyber war is going on in some sense right now. We need this capacity in time of war. We need the capacity for the president to say, Internet service provider, we've got to disconnect the American Internet. Right now, China, the government, can disconnect parts of its Internet in the case of war. We need to have that here, too. Well, one of the things that needs to be killed on the Internet is healthcare.gov. The potential for fraud there has been widely reported. Well, now new video has surfaced that shows that the actual navigators are encouraging enrollees to fraud the system and trick the IRS. So we'll have that and more right after this. Alex Jones here to warn you about some of the most important health information you may ever hear. I'm talking about radiation, radioactive fallout, radioactive particles contaminating the Northern Hemisphere. Conservatively, since the 1940s, the Northern Hemisphere of our planet has more than doubled its background radiation. In fact, that was before Fukushima exploded. Now the levels are going up and up and up. Fish are contaminated in the Pacific, and the FDA, the EPA, and others, they're not worried about it. They've been raising the levels of what they claim is safe radioactive particles. So after more than two years of research into how to protect my family, looking at all the literature, talking to the experts, across the board they agreed, iodine is key, but of the family of iodine, nascent, natural, non-GMO, non-factory iodine that comes from the earth is absolutely paramount for your thyroid and other functions in the body. The literature, the research, it's there. It's not my opinion. It is admitted that iodine is essential for the health of our bodies overall and nascent iodine is the best form. Now, we're announcing the launch of InfoWarsLife.com, and we're going to bring you scores of products over the next few years that we're researching and developing. But nascent iodine is the first product we're coming out with because it's so important, and it's also listed as a fluoride detoxer. It does so many other things. 
Your body needs it, and when you don't have enough iodine, forget the radiation, your thyroid absorbs the sodium fluoride and other things. Nascent iodine and InfoWars Life Survival Shield in double strength at half the cost of the leading competitors. Please visit InfoWarsLife.com today.